Now, we're joined in the Harvey Norman Lounge by the fabulous Trudy Brewer. And this morning, we're talking eye creams. Good morning, Trudy. Good morning. How are okay. you? Okay. Oh, I'm good. Now, I love a good eye cream. Yeah. But I have to be honest. I don't use them. I just stick my other moisturiser underneath. Is that a bad thing? Well, I asked you about that earlier and said, are your eyes puffy? Um, I think a specific cream for the eyes does a couple of things. It actually addresses the concerns that you don't have on the rest of your face, and the ingredients are much smaller and much lighter and much um, much easily, uh, easily um, absorbed by the skin under your eyes. Because the skin under your eyes has no oil glands. Ah, so that that's makes sense. why you need to be very careful about what you put there, because it can encourage puffiness if you load up your under eye area with a thick heavy cream uh, right okay so I should be using it yeah definitely. Right. And, and, and I'm gonna ask that so I should okay. be using it at my age but what age should you start using an eye cream well I think it depends on the person um, New Zealand women unfortunately are exposed to much um, harsher um, free radicals in our environment because we have a depleted ozone layer yeah. so our skin New Zealand women's skin is slightly older than English women's skin and European women's skin but I'm English and <laughs> I think as soon as you see concerns, I mean, most experts will say around the 30s is when you're starting to see the signs okay. of ageing. But if you have puffy eyes or dark circles or you feel like the skin under your eye area is dry and itchy, then it can, any age can benefit from an eye cream. So I'm not there yet anyway. Um, <laughs> so there's loads of different types of eye creams. You've got your masks, you've got your serums, you've got, oh, so and many. You've got an oil. An now. oil. Yeah. So what should we be using on what sort of skin? I think if you've got sensitive eyes, really stick to something that's lighter weight, like a gel or a serum. And if you've got dry skin that's really in need of moisture, um, go with a cream, a heavier cream, or even a heavier serum or an oil. I think the secret is where you put it more than anything. I mean, a okay. lot of people overuse eye cream. You don't need very much. It's a tiny amount. Applied with the ring finger because it has the most delicate touch. Oh, and so not slapping it on with no. that. No. Right, okay. And really just on the um, eye orbital bone. Keep it away from the eye area because when you go, you usually put it on at night, you yep. go to bed, you lie down, and that cream warms up and travels upwards into the eye. So ah. that's why a lot of women wake up and think, this eye cream's not working because my eyes are puffy. It's because they've put too much on. And also, it's going to save you some money if you don't put too much Yeah, well, you don't need very much. That's the thing, a tiny, tiny amount. And so, um, are there different creams, I guess, for smoothing away lines? Say you have lines, but or you don't have the puffy. Is there, like, different creams for that? It's about the ingredients in okay. the cream. So um, things like caffeine extract and cucumber and rosemary leaf will help depuff the eye area, okay. whereas things like hyaluronic acid and um, there's a great new ingredient, a Japanese camellia oil that's really common at the moment, oh. azuki oil, um, that will help for smoothing fine lines, um, hyaluronic acid like I said, vitamin A is another great ingredient, they've actually worked out a way to encapsulate it so it's a lot more gentle around the eye yep. area. Which it needs to be, yeah, doesn't it? definitely, so that will help, so it's ingredients really, and I guess it's like anything, it's what you really like, it's trial and error with a lot of things, you need yeah. to try them, see if they, you like them. I'm keeping them in, a, in the fridge is a lovely way oh, in summer great to idea. cool that eye area yeah. and depuff that eye area. Um, yeah, so I mean it's really about trial and error. Okay, let's look at the products because okay. I love right. products. So I bought in a new one from Avene Physio Lift. Uh, Avene is a beautiful brand and it's got a very gentle approach to anti-aging. A lot of the ingredients are incredibly active, but they're soothed by um, their um, a water, which is a water from France, Avene water. Ah. Um, so, and that's a great one for Ooh, just yeah. someone who is who is concerned about ageing but very sensitive around the eye area. Because so there's no fragrance in no that. No fragrance. It's beautiful. It a little bit goes a long way. That one's got a, a lot of hyaluronic acid in it, so it actually attracts moisture to the skin. Yeah, good for me because um, they're sensitive. What about this one? Brand new from Elizabeth Arden. They're fam famous ceramide capsules. They're launching a little... You can open that if you like and twist it open and there's enough in there for one application. A little... Um, Vitamin A, so mm -hmm. brilliant for anti-aging. Again, it's got the Japanese camellia oil and lots of other goodies in there, um, fatty acids, omega-3s and 6s. That's an all-purpose eye product. Brilliant for travel because you've got yeah, those little you got pods. Those. Yeah, you just right. twist open the little um, cap and don't uh, don't take them orally. Don't eat them. A lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> They're actually applied to be applied. They could look like a bit of a vermin, and yeah. I, have, I kid you not, women have actually swallowed them and thought they're not, not a, working. Not a good so idea. So they're for Wasting bursting money. and using. Um, a lot of people look at Clinique as a brand for younger skin, yeah. you know, especially with their three-step program, but they've actually got some really great products for anti-aging. That one, um, Repair Wear, is a beautiful cream, a heavier cream for a slightly older skin. 
And I love that e it's called laser focus. Yeah. So um, vitamin C and E, um, a black tea extract, which is very calming and deep puffing. Um, a lovely rich cream for somebody who really needs some good nourishment. Smells good too. And, um, What's the, I the bought these in because masks are just everywhere. And that's a cute little mask from Adva uh, Estee Lauder. That's part of their advanced night repair range, which is, you know, their premium end of the market. Um, great algae extracts in there. So beautiful for a night out. You know, if you're going out and you think, oh, my eyes look really tired, you can pop that little mask on just before you go out and it gives your skin a real boost of radiance. Love it. Well, yeah. I need a night out now, don't I? <laughs> Put that one on. Just to test it. Thanks so much, Thanks, Trudy. Holly. More of Trudy's tips go to a website beautyq.co.nz